Dan, what is Bitcoin? Bitcoin is a money that is not controlled by any government and it has censorship resistance, which means you can't mute or censor transactions. It means anyone anywhere can transact with anyone else and it can't be seized very easily, which means it's a money where no one can take it from you. It's not like a bank where someone can go in and call the bank. The government could call the bank and freeze your account. With Bitcoin, you have a money that is extremely hard to seize. When you control your Bitcoin, it's like a, it's like a Swiss bank account in your pocket. When someone is thinking of buying Bitcoin for the first time, what are the kinds of things they should be thinking about? Bitcoin is like any other investment you might think about. You know, use basic investing principles of don't invest more than you can lose. Invest at an amount that you find appropriate risk level wise. For example, if you're a pensioner or you're really old and you don't want to, uh, you know, take a big risk with your money, you wouldn't want to put everything into Bitcoin. Similarly, when you're young, you might want to take a little bit more risk. You could, you can ride the volatility. As we all know, Bitcoin has large fluctuations in price in bear markets and bull markets. So, uh, when approaching it, use basic investing skills of uh, one, you know, don't invest more than you can lose. Two, you're definitely going to want to think about uh, timing wise. So uh, when you go invest, don't try to go time the market in terms of buying and selling on a daily basis, day trading. You're going to want to buy and hold, which means buy the asset and holder for five to 10 years. That's You're not going to beat the market in the short term. You, you might, but it's very risky. In the longer term, you're going to want to buy and hold. And that's a strategy to uh, employ. Do you have any warnings for anyone who thinks they could become a trader? Well, statistically, it's unlikely that you're going to beat the market. There's a lot of really smart folks out there who have a lot more money than you do. They have a lot more information and they're the ones you're trading against. It's sort of like you're swimming in a pool with sharks. Now, when you buy and hold, you're not swimming in that pool anymore. You're able to zoom out and have performance on a very long scale. And so you don't have to compete with them. When you're day trading and trying to find alpha, you're, trying to, you're competing with some of the biggest sharks in that pool. If somebody is new to Bitcoin and they go out to buy some and they notice these altcoins, should they also be investing in, in those? There's a lot of interesting things going on in the ecosystem. Bitcoin being the oldest project and what I think is the best project in the space has the best return on risk. So sure, your buddy might buy Shiba or Dogecoin and it might 10x or 100x, but that's very rare. In fact, most coins drop in value over a long period of time. What you're going to want to do is buy Bitcoin. Bitcoin in a, a, as a re, like risk-adjusted return is your best return you're going to get. So what do I mean by that? You could buy another coin and it could go up, but it's a pretty unlikely bet over a long period of time. Bitcoin is the original one. It's the one that is solving the problem of money. It is the largest one by number of holders and believers, and I believe it will be the most successful one in the space. So based on that, I do think Bitcoin is your best risk-adjusted return versus buying an altcoin.